So, I want to talk about Black Ops 6 after my experience playing the beta, and man, where to start. First off, I've really been enjoying the game. With that being said, I want to be critical of the game. The nice part of this game, it won't be compared to the previous game sharing the same title, like MW3 fixing the problems of MW2. Basically, MW3 is what MW2 should have been. So I have two lists. First, I'll go off the good list. So, my number one good thing on this list is the div diversity of playstyles. What I mean by that is you can run a gun if you want to. If you prefer to play tactically and hold angles, you can. If you want to hide, set traps, and pitch a tent, you can. You literally can play like they said you would be able to play in the first COD Next about two years ago. ...system that we had. Um, and so we came up with a few uh, methods, one of them being uh, player behaviors. And I say behaviors um, and not uh, play styles. I think a lot of people will say play styles, but that can kind of change during a match. But behaviors are more ingrained in how players play. Um, and we just put them into three big groups. Uh, we call them rushers, which are just aggressive players. They just want to find the action and go. And then we have Sentinels, um, and these are defensive players. They want to just kind of hold down a building, maybe keep a little overwatch. Um, and then we have um, Stalkers, which are reactive, and they kind of hang back and try to read the field and read where um, spawns are. And really, we just kind of use these as filters to keep us honest with the content that we're making. Um, so they're making enough toys and equipment for players to be successful playing our game. Number two. There has never been a bigger margin to obtain a skill gap and give yourself the edge like you can in Black Ops 6. For instance, if you want to be a movement demon, everyone is learning new movement systems, so giving it time, you could give yourself that skill gap edge. Or learning how to control a otherwise hard to run AR, something that's off meta, but like AK-47. Hard hitting gun, harder to control, recoil. It's been a while since we've had different skill gaps in a COD and it's just nice to see. And guns kind of lead me into my next one. Number three. Every gun feels different, like the XM4 has a fast rate of fire but is kind of pea short compared to the AK which hits hard, but hits like a truck. Every gun feels like it has its own individual personality and it's nice to see some diversity that every gun doesn't just feel like the same in its own category. Following up with guns, let's go into number four, the attachments. The attachments have been significantly reduced as far as how many we have in the game. No more looking through a hundred foregrips or muzzles. They also took good things from previous games, like the optics are shared between platforms. Number five, the maps look great and play amazing. So far, the only one I'm not a fan of is Rewind, but I also think it would play better as a 10v10. Babylon is probably one of my favorites. Kind of reminds me of Shipment. Nice seeing good new maps, and that goes for the Stripe maps as well. Six, the best thing about this game is it feels different enough, but not so wildly different from MW3, like Black Ops Cold War did compared to Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone. And that about wraps up the good list. Now let's get into the bad, things I think could use a little bit of improvement. Now, number one. I know that it's been worked on after the first week of the beta, but especially on newer maps and on the strike maps, spawns still suck. I still find myself getting killed by people who are spawning behind me. Number two, the time to kill feels a bit fast, or at least inconsistent. Not sure if it's by design or if the damage drop-offs just drop off way too fast. I just think that it could use a little bit of fine-tuning. 
Number three, attachments don't display the cons, but they do have them. Not only this, but for some reason grips to me don't make sense. Or at least to what I'm used to. Like there isn't one recoil improving grip or stock. To be fair, there might be statistics that show players rarely use them for that reason and for the idea of simplifying the create a class system. Number five, there are two maps that I have flaws, well, that I have gripes with. Now again, I just think Rewind is way too big and honestly, cutting the map in half could play better. The next one is Pit. The upper portion of the map kind of breaks the flow of the map, in my opinion. Like once you realize the spawns have flipped and you're up in the upper portion, you can just run across and hold the ladder, or you can just hold your angle at the caves and gun people down. Now I know that's why it's called a power position, but this is just my opinion. And that's about all I have for the bad. In conclusion, it was kind of hard to come up with stuff to bitch about with the game. I feel like the game has a solid foundation. I could bitch about SBMM, but it's not going anywhere, and being a mid-level 1.27 KD in the beta, I didn't notice it. I can't wait for the game to come out. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Comment down below what your pros and cons are about BO6 and if you're as excited as I am about the game.